Well, OR360 is uh, what we settled on as the name of our effort uh, in uh, human factors research. The interaction of human beings with systems and technology. It's well understood you can have the best technology in the world and if people can't use it and in a way that uh, improves their efficiency and safety, it's not much uh, benefit. The center of the space, which we call the blob, has the uh, simulation operating room, emergency room, ICU, whatever we want to make it into. And it's so unique because we can literally change the size of the room by moving the walls. We can change where the equipment is located and we can change the lighting. And at times we've, we've put in smoke, we've made poor visibility. We've been able to do a lot of things. The other thing that was really important to me that I always found it very distasteful to go to a place where there's creativity going on and find a closed door and people all behind that door in some room, theoretically doing something well that you couldn't see. So one of the things we did was have transparent walls for our conference rooms, such that even though you may not be able to hear what's going on, you could see the energy of the people collaborating. We felt that having writable walls, whether it be clear glass, or the walls themselves would offer us a kind of spontaneity and an ability to communicate with others in a very graphic and direct way uh, that's a bit different. I think that we've been able to find constructive ways to get around the kind of organizational log jams that interfere with physicians and nurses and others being at the top of their game. Well, I would like to thank uh, my colleagues and leadership at Cedar sinai who had the wisdom to support this, and Deb Kalick, who so championed this uh, at every level. I, and I would also like to thank the Chamber of Commerce at West Hollywood that has been a great partner at every step in the development of this space.